Now, weeks after it had originally planned, Catholic Health is finally able to conduct rapid testing for coronavirus. They put the first of those tests to use at an Orchard Park nursing home and discovered an outbreak. And they say if they hadn't, it could have gone undetected with some devastating consequences. We learn more now from Channel 2's Dave McKinley. We are not only getting updated numbers about the situation here at the Baker Manor facility, but also learning that the facility's very design is hoped to help keep the outbreak at bay. 138 were tested, 41 were positive, or 30%. They are now being placed in a single wing of this nursing home where most of the cases were found. Which is separated off from the other units, allowing for us to have a very strong infection control program limited to that area. Only two residents have been removed from here and taken to local hospitals. If the patient is in an isolation ward uh, as we have them now uh, and can be cared for in that isolation ward appropriately, that's the best place for them. Uh, you have to remember that this is actually their home. 25 staff also tested positive and none of them had been symptomatic, which means had it not been for the rapid testing that Catholic Health was able to finally start doing on Friday, the outbreak may have gone largely undetected. Meanwhile, not far from the Father Baker Manor, Catholic Health is busy setting up another coronavirus treatment facility. We'll have more about that and when it might open tonight at 6. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.